Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, welcome to App of the Day. As you know, this is the bit where we talk about apps that we think are good or do something useful. And today's app is actually something that's both good and useful. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this app is called Write Room. Uh, basically what it is is a very rudimentary plain text, or I guess you can do rich text as well, but I've been using it for plain text editor. It syncs with Dropbox. A text editor for the iPad. The iPad already comes with a very, very basic text editor, Notes, but that's not very useful. No, uh, Notes has a bunch of problems. Mainly, I mean, now you can sync to iCloud, but traditionally it's been very difficult to get those files off of the device, mm -hmm. and it has some weird background. I, it's just, I don't like it. And of course, Apple sells its own word processing program, uh, Pages. Pages. Uh, Pages is a little bit more fully featured than this. It's rich text, it does uh, formatting and styles and all that stuff. I'm using Write Room when I just want to sit down, bang out a story real quick, no distractions. As you can see, it's obviously, it's full screen. You can wow. go down here. And it'll actually sync with the contents of the Dropbox folder, which is the thing that's really useful, because it means that I can literally stop working on the Mac, move over to the desktop, and I'm right there. And, and on the Mac side, you can use any text editor you want. Uh, they actually sell a Mac version of the, the Write Room app that they bill as distractions, free, full screen writing. Right. Uh, it's not necessary. Anything that'll dump a, uh, just a plain text file or a rich text file into a folder on the computer will work with this. So let me show you how this works. Uh, basically, you type words and they show up on the page. Amazing. It's really straightforward. It'll work yeah. with a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, you can do rich text if you want. Uh, I, I don't actually, ever. For what we do, it's, it's pretty bad. So what are the customization options on here? Well, let me show you, Norm. You can change your fonts and colors. All right. For example, I can change my text color to be Bright pink. red or pink. Pink's Pinky fine. purple. And your I can change my color? background color green to be, oh, that's gonna, this is gonna be invisible to They're people with red, green color blindness. Oh my God, that's, uh, what have you done? Now this is um, not distraction free at all. <laughs> This is awful. Uh, you can also uh, increase the tint of the of the interface. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know what that does, but I think it makes it really bright in this case, even more green. Uh, and then also, of course, you can uh, tweak the brightness in app or with the with the main you know, brightness setting. Right. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can change the font. It defaults to a typewriter font, which I think is a little precious. I like Helvetica. I'm going with Helvetica Nui because it's a little more compressed. Um, I'm changing the colors back as quickly as I can because this is. <laughs> really, really incredibly ugly. But you can also, if you want, and this is something that I know a lot of people are kind of into, you can do the white text on, on black, black background. background. So this is Right Room. It's today's app of the day. For Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.